Now let's start question number 15. Um, write down three inequalities which define the unshaded region. So first of all, we know that there are three lines we can see and then there is this region which is the unshaded region. And first of all, we will find the, the equation of the line and then we will see what do we have to do with the unshaded region. Okay, so all of the three lines are straight line and the equation of a straight line is y is equals to mx plus c where c is the gradient which oh sorry where c is the y intercept which means the line where it crosses the y axis in this case it is 6 in this case it is 2 and in this dotted line is it is 8 okay so this is the y intercept c and what is m m is the gradient which means the slope okay so if the slope is going downwards it is a negative gradient if the slope is going upwards it is a positive gradient and if there is no slope in case of the dotted line so uh, there isn't any value it's a zero okay so to find the gradient what we can do is we can change in y over change in x that's how we'll find the gradient okay of any two points we can take any two points all right so let's start with the dotted line so whenever you see a horizontal line it's the equation of that line is very simple which is y is equals to 8 in this case why because it is crossing at 8 so it's 8 if it was here at 5 it would have been y equals to 5 but we have to write inequalities we cannot use the equal sign we have to use the inequalities such as less than greater than greater than equal to some stuff like that okay so because this is a dotted line it we cannot use the equal one we have to use greater or less than okay now we have to see where the unshaded region is which is under the line which means we will use the sign which is less than so y is less than what obviously it is 8 okay sorry it's 8 let's come to the second line we will use this one now now the intercept is very clearly 6 so it is y is equals to mx m we still don't know plus 6 we still don't know the m okay so how can we find the m is we can take any two points uh, let me take this point here and this uh, this point here okay so here the change in y from 6 minus 0 so from 6 it became 0 so change in y is 6 change in y is 6 divide by change in x so from 0 it became 6 so 0 minus 6 which is negative 6 okay so it is negative 1 so here we get negative 1 so our second line is y now we have to look at the unshaded region in this case it is above the line above the line so y is greater and because it is not a dotted line so we'll say equal to okay minus 1x plus 6 okay let's do the third line this one as you can see clearly the intercept is at 2 okay so it's y is equals to mx which we don't know yet but plus 2 okay so to find the mx we know it's y divide change in y divide by change in x so what is change in y let's take any two points let me take one this point at 4 2 and um, let me take this point okay so let me see from 2 to this point what is the change in y from 2 to 4 it increased by 2 so the difference is negative 2 2 minus 4 it's negative 2 and from this point the x was negative and the x became 2 positive 2 so it's again from 0 to 2 so 0 minus 2 again negative 2 so it becomes positive here and it is 1 so again we have a 1x this time it's positive so it's y again the unshaded region is above the line as you can see it is above this line okay so it is again greater and 
it is a it is not a dotted line so equal to and what did we have is 1x plus 2 okay now question 16 this is about compound interest okay and the formula for compound interest is um, the total amount is equals to the amount invested known as the principal amount the am amount invested 1 plus the rate of interest to the power of n which is the number of periods okay so we can substitute it which we'll get is the amount invested is 5000 times 1 plus 2 percent is 2 by 100 or 0 0.02 k to the power n which is 14 okay now let me do this in the calculator we get 6597 7.39 okay but they asked us to calculate the interest this is not the interest we found this is the total amount we found which includes the interest so we have to deduct the amount we invested 14 years ago to get the amount of interest okay because total amount because total amount total amount is equals to the amount we invested plus the interest so we got this we know this we got the principal amount what we have to find is the interest okay that's why there are four marks so if we deduct the principal amount from the total amount we found we will end up getting the interest okay so total amount is 6597.39 principal amount was 5000 if we deduct 5000 from our amount we will get um, 15 okay so minus 5 One five nine seven point three. Now notice here they have, uh, yeah, to the nearest dollar. So to the nearest dollar, we have to round it till here. Because we have to round it till here, we have to show one extra number at least. So we can show how we have rounded. So it will be one five. 